Hi, I'm Brent Lawrence, and this is five things you need to know about the new election changes here in North Carolina. The first thing, and what gets the most attention, is the voter ID component. Um, it's important to know that this law involves a lot more than photo ID requirements to vote, but that particular provision will actually go into effect beginning in January of 2016. So in 2013, 2014, and 2015, you will not need to show a photo ID in order to vote. That's important to note. Um, secondly, part of that is in 2014, you will begin to receive free IDs to vote if you do not already have an acceptable form of identification. Those acceptable forms are going to be pretty strict government-issued photo IDs such as driver's licenses, passports, tribal ID cards, um, things like that. What is notably absent is public school IDs, so, so students will need to have to obtain a, an official North Carolina ID if they do not already have one. And the other thing about the photo ID component is if you do not have a photo ID with you and you show up to vote in 2016, you can still cast a provisional ballot but you're going to be required to return to your County Board of Elections office to prove your identity with a photo ID before the canvas date, which is 7 to 10 days after the election. The uh, second important thing to note about the new election law changes is that it cuts early voting by 7 days. The current period is 17 days, and beginning in 2014, that's going to be cut to 10 days. Though a provision in the law does say that um, County Board selections will have to maintain the same number of hours of early voting, as they did in 2010 and 2012. So for instance, midterm elections will look at 2010 for the number of hours and presidential elections will look at 2012 and maintain that same level of hours. The third thing to know about this new, new changes we're looking at here in North Carolina is that it eliminates same day registration. So currently and in the past, you've been able to register and vote on the same day during the early voting period. That's no longer going to be acceptable and all voters will need to be registered 25 days prior to the election in order to vote. Registered voters will still be able to update name and address on their voter registration during early voting though. The fourth thing to know about the new election changes is that it ends straight party ticket voting. So no longer will you be able to cast your ballot by just checking Republican or Democrat on the ballot and vote for all the partisan races. From, from here on, beginning in 2014, you're going to have to vote for each individual race on the ballot. The fifth thing to know about this is that it actually also eliminates out-of-precinct voting. So under current law or, or past law, you, if you show up at the wrong precinct to vote on election day, you were still able to cast a provisional ballot and then essentially everything that matched your district would count. So if you could vote for president and governor, those would be counted, but if you were in the wrong state house district, for instance, then that would not count. Under the new law, it says that no matter what precinct you show up in, if it's not your assigned home precinct, your vote's not going to count. Those are five quick important things to know about the new law, but there's a whole host and much more provisions that go into effect, some in 2013, some in 2014, and then the photo ID one, obviously, in 2016. To see all the provisions and, and learn more, please visit ncvotored.com. I'm Brent Lawrence, and that's five things to know about the new election law changes here in North Carolina.